And what do we have here, Uncle Bullcow? Is it the world's hottest pepper? Uncle Bullcow in the building. Gnarly, completely gnarly looking Prima Tally. Look at that. Look at that bad boy in all his glory with that super stinger. I'm on a completely empty stomach, and I know how hot these are, so I'm going to get a couple bites of food in me. You, you, you already know what I'm, what I'm getting into. Mm. Got me a, a jug of hot sauce here. Mm. Mrs. Bullcow goes through quite a bit, and I go through quite a bit of hot sauce, so... When I make it, sometimes when I make it for us, I'm smart and I just put it in a jug because we'll eat it in a few days. Yeah, who knows? By the way, it's not a mild sauce, so I might be in trouble this morning. And I got to go to church and I got to go to the farm and I got to go do a bunch of stuff today. I really do not need to have gut bomb and Hershey squirts. Let's cut this baby open and see how Uncle did him as far as growing these bad boys. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's all placenta, guys. The house house is lighting me up alone. Wow. This is a dumb idea. <laughs> this is not fun. This is not going to be fun. All right. The oils on my knife go round and round, round and round. All right. World's hottest pepper, according to quite a few people. The Prima Tally is a... Well, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stories. So it's this cross. It was out of Chris Saunders' garden. Whether it was intentional or accidental, that's up for debate. A little bit floral. <clears throat> Stupid, screaming hot. Wow. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, so it's supposed to be a cross between a Fatale and a Seven Pot Primo. Um, we don't know. In the beginning, you know, what I heard was it was an accidental cross. The seeds were from a Fatale. Chris had grown um, Seven Pot Primos next to it or around it. That's all he had growing around the fatalities, and that would pretty much solidify it. You know, that's what it is for me. Um, but anyways, if you want to get into that debate and argument, go in any of the pepper groups on Facebook and ask what's a prima tally, and you'll hear a bunch of different answers. Um, I'm not, I ain't got no dog in the fight. I've gotten so many accidental crosses. I've only successfully crossed two peppers myself. One was emasculating in a scientific way. Uh, the other one was not. It was with pollen and a paintbrush. And it took. I'm not a pepper breeder. I am a pepper eater. A sauce maker. I'm a hot sauce reviewer. First and foremost, I'm just a hot sauce lover and reviewer. And pepper reviewer. Wow. Little seeds stuck up there. That's brutal, man. Whoo! Especially this hot sauce. This hot sauce is not a mild one. You guys will hear more about this sauce coming up real soon. Oh, that's death right there. Mm. 
what I like about the Primatello is it has a pretty good taste. Um, wow. I'm going to make a red pepper sauce with straight primatellis. I will add a little bit of roasted red bell in there. Take away any bitter notes. I need to add that, oh, that red pepper flavor that I absolutely love um, if it's done right. But I'm going to make straight primatelli sauce um, because I think this pepper is worthy and I think that it's going to make a good sauce. I've put it in sauces before with mixed other mixed peppers and whatnot. But it's screaming hot. Um, on the Scoville scale, I, I mean, there's reapers that have tested at 2 million. Uh, I'd have to say this is up there, but more consistently. So this thing might, might you might get a 2.3 2 out of it. Um, but I think most of them would test above 1.6 on a consistent basis from how many I've tried personally. You know, good friends that have eaten this pepper, like hundreds of them. So, with that being said, it's a really good pepper. Um, Mrs. Bull Cow, uh, you know, she's she's never complained about the the floralness and bitterness of the Prima Tally. Uh She does not like reapers and you know, a whole bunch of other red pods. They're too floral and too bitter for her. She don't complain about this. She loves red pods. Her favorite pod is the Hellhammer, which is also a primo cross. It's a seven pot primo cross with a apocalypse scorpion. <clears throat> um, so that's that. I think the Prima Tally is here to stay. Um, I don't see it as one of these peppers that's gonna kind of fade away. <clears throat> you see peppers come in in fads. Let's let's talk about one right here that really it's still pretty popular, but it's not as popular as it was so many years ago. Look at that bad boy. That's a death spiral. This pepper at one point people were saying this is hotter than a reaper, and there was a big huge rush to, to get you know seeds for this. And a lot of people, you know, three, four years ago grew this out. A lot of people still grow it out. It's a good pepper. Now, is it hotter than a reaper? Yes. In my opinion, every death spiral I've ever had has been hotter than any reaper I've ever had. Okay? That's from tasting it. You know, it's my personal opinion. But I'm going to tell you where people get things twisted. Somebody sent some of this powder off for testing, right? And it came back at like 1.3 million. Well, because the Reaper is in the Guinness at 1.6, a whole bunch of people are, you know, online saying, there's proof that it's not hotter. That is not proof at all. One test at 1.3, that's pretty good, actually. Um, you know, you can you can test a 7-pot Primo that tests at 1.2, 1.3, and you get something that tests at, who knows, 1.7. So I have to go with the median. Um, but me, as far as the burn goes, I can say death spiral. Um, everyone has lit me up worse than than a reaper. <clears throat> the burn's just a little more stingy and kind of a more attack the throat burn. And you guys know how I am about my, my throat. All right, let's get this. Let's get that stinger in me. So you guys can watch me squirm. I can feel this in my gut already. Uh, I just don't. I don't. I, I don't mind getting a little bit of a, a gut flutter, but straight full gut bomb this early in the morning is not cool. Look at that. My stinger is just up there. Whew. All right. Hmm. For anybody that's new to the channel, yes, I review most of my pods with food. That's how I eat them every day. They are still hot. I can still taste them. Um, wow. Such a good pepper. 
such a good pepper and I'm glad that I grew this this year um, I'll show you some different ones now you get some that almost look like a seven pot primo that my friends is a prima tally let me show you some more of that and that is a prima tally the difference in those is what's crazy is one of them's in a bigger pot and another one's in a smaller pot. The growing conditions are just a little bit different. You know, there's not as many nutrients now in the smaller pot. I got more in here. Oh, look at this one. It's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. So now those are prima tallies. It's crazy because I had a couple of seven pot primos that looked exactly the same as those. And I put the two together. Um, it was two seven pot primo and one prima tally and I put the brothers primo really good um, comment below if you ever had a prima tally and what your thoughts are on it now of course I have people that I have said that the chocolate prima tally is hotter to the mouth we all know it's not going to test higher chocolate pods just won't uh, with that being said you know the overall consensus is that the prima tally and or chocolate and maybe even caramel. Um, still haven't tried the caramel and I'm growing them too. I got them. Um, um, but the overall consensus from the pepper world, the wide world of peppers, the pepper community, um, is that the prima tally is consistently the hottest pepper that you can readily get your hands on you can buy the seeds you can grow it yourself you may even find it at farmers market once in a while and you can go online and find you know, find them in the pepper groups and actually buy a box and try them so released available you know it's there you can get it um there's other growers that have peppers that i'm sure are probably hotter uh troy primo has the Louisiana Creeper, Tom Broom has the Omega, so on and so forth. But for right now, I would say uh, the Prima Tally is, 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 is up there. You know, readily available, it probably is the hottest that you can get your hands on. Um, yeah, with that being said, excellent pepper. It tastes good. Um... You guys know I do not like fresh reapers. Maruga Scorpion Red. Uh, and there's some other ones uh, out there. I uh, don't care for red brain strains that much either. Um, there's, there's certain florals, floral notes, and bitter notes in a lot of red superats that I don't care for. Um, uh, this didn't have a lot. There was that little bit of floral. You see the pepper was all placenta. And it's a little bit of... The super hot floral, nothing major, nothing that really bothered me that much. So, you know, I'd say, hey, I love that though. Um, so yeah, overall, great pepper. Uh, the powder is great. Uh, I've had pre-metallic powder a few different times. I put it in my coffee. Um, I, you know, eat it on food. I mix it in with tinctures and all kinds of stuff. Pre-metallic is top notch. It's a good pepper. Um, they can be a little bit tricky growing them. They take very like, long time to for the seeds to germinate. They take um, a long time for the plants to mature. They take a long time to ripen on the plant. Uh, so they are a little bit finicky. Um, but what I've found, and I'll give anybody this piece of advice, grow them in bigger than five gallon pots. Make sure you have either seven or 10 gallon pots or grow them in a garden, raised bed in the ground. Um, and you will have better results. Every time I've grown these in little smaller pots, it's, it wasn't, it didn't turn out great. So, but great pepper. Could it be the world's hottest pepper? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah.